were speaking about uh, the uh, uh, the new uh, annual information statement that we have now introduced uh, along with uh, 26 AS. Now, uh, as a taxpayer, uh, what should I go to? Uh, should I compare my uh, pre-filled data or my documents with 26 AS or should I compare them with uh, the uh, annual information statement? A uh, very valid point. This is, this is the first year in which the annual information statement has been made available. So it is available on the e-filing portal under services. There is a, a menu item called annual information statement. Um, if you click on that, then it will take you to our uh, uh, data warehouse portal. And there you can download the uh, AIS statement in PDF format. It will contain all the salaries that have been reported by deductors. It will contain all the interest that you have received from the banks. It will contain all the dividend payments that have been made by companies. It will also include all the sale of uh, equity, that is your shares, mutual funds, uh, and also it will have details of across various uh, investments, uh, fixed deposits that you may have made. Why is it important? It is important to note that this annual information statement is a measure of the transparency of what information department has about the taxpayer. So, um, once the taxpayer knows that this is my interest, then it is easy for him to fill up his return as well. So that is the effort that has been made. The distinction between AIS and uh, 26 AS is that 26 AS is primarily for the purpose of tax deduction at source, how much advance tax you have paid, self-assessment tax you have, you have made. Uh, wherever tax deduction is there, the income is also getting reflected. For example, your salary income will also be mentioned. But the primary purpose of the 26 AS is for tax payment and tax deduction, tax collection, all the all that is reflected there. The pre-fill that is happening today in the income tax return, which is uh, trying to pick up all this data, it, it includes data from the basic profile, that is your mobile number, your address and all that is picked up from the profile. It is picking up data from your previous ITR. So supposing you may have some, some information which is there in the previous ITR, that is also getting picked up. In addition, it is picking up data of tax payments, uh, tax deducted at source uh, from your 26 years. It is picking up dividend in, uh, inter, uh, income and interest income from AIS. So all this is, we are trying to make it available to the taxpayer in the pre-filled format. However, the taxpayer should make sure that this, the data in the 26 years, data in the uh, annual information statement and the pre-fill is correct. That is why if you remember the beginning I said, that he should have his bank statement copy, he should have his uh, form 16 so that he can cross check. Once he has cross checked and made sure that everything is correct, then he can edit. In the return, though the information is pre-filled, he can go ahead and edit. So once he has edited, that becomes the final return that he is going to submit. So thank you, sir, for taking us through uh, the most commonly faced queries uh, the, or the most commonly faced issues by taxpayers uh, while they prepare uh, to file their taxes. <laughs>